Well, with this design, obviously, the way it's set up is that the engine is going to be in between the person's legs as they drive. What that means is that <coughs> I'm going to be building a shroud so that way it'll go around the engine so the exhaust, if you're good at fabrication and that sort of thing, then you'll be able to build an exhaust pipe that's going to come out of the engine and go down below. <coughs> I'm going to be doing this in a, in a fashion where I'll have a little shroud right here. I have the steering column right here, but the problem with this setup is that the way the steering column is going to go, I'm going to have to remove my, my gas tank, and since there's going to be a slight shroud around here, when the exhaust is coming out hitting the shroud, we're not going to want the exhaust to be able to build up a plume back in between here and be going back up into the, the carburetor. So we don't want any exhaust fumes going into the carburetor, so I'm going to have to modify that also. So, first things come first. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm using this little Harbor Freight engine. That's what I'm doing. And I'm taking off the screws to remove the tank because it will collide, get, in, get in the way of the, the steering column. The gas tank will go back above the tire. So, hi, now, hi Cody, what are you guys doing? Go ahead and white kiss. And the white shirt knows my name. He knows your name? Yeah. Uh-oh. Is he a ghost? No, he's a person. Oh, he's a person? Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. Hi, Cody. Hi, Danica. <laughs> okay, so another thing that I'm going to have to do here is that because the, the the exhaust plume will be back here, I'll have a buildup of exhaust back here. You get this will all make sense to you when I'm almost done with this thing, so don't be asking me any questions about this. But what'll happen here is I'll be plugging up the two intake ports to the air filter. Now, initially, what I fig was thinking about was putting in some type of middle partition in between the exhaust and the carburetor, but that's just not going to be feasible because that's where my spark plug is going to go. So now I got to figure out something else, and I think I pretty much got it figured out, and this is what I'm going to do. So since I'm going to be plugging those two up, and I'm going to be putting this on here like that, that means there's going to be no air being able to get into that carburetor, so I'll have to figure out some other way. What I did was I cut two holes in the front of the cover, put in two channel tubings from that stuff that was donated off to me from George. Thank you, George. And that's where my air will be coming from. once I plug up those other ones. And since the engine, w since the vehicle will be traveling that way, air will be blowing into it. Air will be blowing in. Okay, now I just took off the bolts. Took out this one bolt. Took out these two little screws right here that hold this contain this section here onto the carburetor. And then it'll be time to plug up that hole and that hole. Okay, so what I'm going to do here to plug up these holes is I cut some more of that tubing. Got a heating gun right here. Heat heat glue gun. <laughs> I'm going to coil this up. Spin that in. Take this one. Coil this one up around it. to it. Let's stick it down into the hole. 
suppress it just slightly. Grab the glue and just fill it up. And that will block the airflow in here. And I got these little side areas here. back this off because if not it just keeps dripping and dripping and dripping <laughs> alrighty now time to hot glue gun around here okay there we go put glue gun and I couldn't get all the way in the back but if I just u-shaped it on front and back sides should be good enough Okie dokie. Looks good. Yep, it can breathe. Alright, there it is. Got it all put back together. You simply reroute the air coming from a different location. And since this is, since this is going to be the front of the bike, or the front of the trike, the air will be flowing into that, into those ports. I think I might put some type of screen or something over that just to avoid bugs and shit flying in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it almost looks like a robot. <gasps> Alrighty, guys. So that's what I did with my engine. And uh, tell me what you think of that little idea. Rate, subscribe, and comment on this video. Take it easy.